Brock and Springdale. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Minister, Ontario is celebrating Local Food Week this week from June 6 to June 12. It's a great opportunity to celebrate all the foods and beverages that are grown and produced and made here in Ontario. And we have much to celebrate, like farmers' markets across the province that are now able to sell Ontario wines, craft ciders, and fruit wines. If the 1.4 million that the 84 VQA wineries generated at 215 farmers' markets in the last two years, this will be a popular draw to the markets and help support the local economy. Minister, it's already been three years since this House passed the Local Food Act. Can the minister please provide an update on how Ontario's agri-food agri sector has grown since the Local Food Act was passed? Thank you, Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Excellent thank you very much. Uh, through you, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the member for Brampton Springdale for that farm fresh question. Oh. I had the pleasure of touring the member's riding last month and visit some of the food and beverage manufacturers there. I want to wish everybody in this legislature, including you, Mr. Speaker, a happy Local Food Week, our third since passing the Local Food Act with all party support a number of years ago. The Local Food Act supports our local food strategy to strengthen Ontario's local food sector from the farmstead to the grocery store and everywhere in between. And it's working, Mr. Speaker. In the past two years, our province's agri-food sector has added $1.3 billion to Ontario's GDP and created 34,000 new jobs. Ontario consumers are becoming the most aware of local food options. 81% of them can identify Ontario growing produce at grocery stores. Eight out of ten shoppers are likely to purchase fresh Ontario grown food. And Mr. Sir, Speaker, I'm proud to say we're Mr. making progress. And Mr. Speaker, good things grow in Ontario. All right. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thanks to the Minister for his response. Ontario's agri food sector supports more than 780,000 jobs across the province. These are jobs found in communities both urban and rural, from Timiskaming to, uh, to Simcoe, from Leamington to Peterborough. Local food champions across the province are helping spread the word that buying local helps grow the economy and jobs. I think that the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, which in, in 2015 launched the 6x16 initiative to teach young people how to prepare six locally sourced healthy meals by the time they are 16 years old, and of course, Brian Fernandez, who unleashed Ontario's and Canada's love for Leamington tomatoes with his Facebook post on French's ketchup. Yesterday, the government released 2015, the 2015-2016 Local Food Report. Can the Minister inform the House of, of the contents of the report and whether Ontario is moving forward on its local food goals? Question. Thank you. Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the member from Brampton Springdale for her question, the great work to support food processors in her community. Yesterday, I was at the Hawthorne Food and Drink, a feast on certified restaurant here in Toronto, to release this year's Local Food Report. And I'm glad the member mentioned the OFA and Mr. Fernandez. They're both featured in the local food report. This year's report highlights progress we've made since last year. For example, we launched the local food investment fund as part of the $6 billion funding for the Greenbelt Fund. Farmers markets en route locations along the 401 attracted 185,000 visitors last year. Mr. Speaker, the agri-food sector is poised for growth. For example, in 2017, French's will begin bottling ketchup in Ontario in East York, the home of my parliamentary assistant, Mr. Potts from East York. Right. And we also know, Mr. Speaker, that Highbury Can Go in Leamington, Ontario are rapidly Answer. approaching employment levels that existed at the former Heights plant. I encourage all members to read the local food report and to continue to Thank report you. things that grow in Ontario. And as the